What's up, guys? It's Gina Ifoe, the one and only African superstar, back with another vlog. As you guys can see, you know, unlike some of these vloggers, my life is not so riveting. <laughs> I basically do the same things all the time. Today, I'm heading to the gym, and I just had this thought come up when I was on my way. I was admiring a house that is in my neighborhood. It's kind of this big um, mansion that's not far from my place. And today I want to talk about we were given such unrealistic expectations in the West, you know. And I think about being a child and, you know, having the very same aspirations that I have as an adult. Like, I always wanted a mansion. I always wanted a pool. I always wanted to live really comfortable. You know, I didn't want to spend my entire life working, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And... I worked really, really hard. When I first started working, I worked really hard. I got my very first job on my 15th birthday. I started working at a grocery store in, back in Columbus, Ohio called Big Bear. Shout outs to any of my Ohioans that know that grocery store. And I think about how had I had more realistic expectations or perhaps even just had my sight set elsewhere, how I could have already achieved those goals. But because I was given unrealistic expectations and not given the vehicle to achieve anything really, I'm in the state that I'm in right now. And this kind of goes out to some diasporans. I have some friends that, you know, we talk about not achieving the goals. We talk about where we are and how we wish we knew and these kind of things. Um, and it's difficult to not beat yourself up because you feel like at this point you're not accomplished and you haven't achieved what you wanted to do. I think it's important for us to start having a conversation with the younger generation about the reality of the situation that they're in because we know that our school system, our politics, our government, even religion just promotes us to basically be slaves in this game. You know what I mean? The things that are going to give you freedom is entrepreneurship, um, and ownership and things like that. There are also things that are supportive in black majority countries, such as the lack of racism, <laughs> the lack of discrimination that you're going to face. These are the things that we should be telling our youth. I just really wish that I had someone be honest with me about what was to come and give me some actual tangible advice of what I should do. You know, somebody had that conversation with me when I was a young professional and said, hey, look, you know, I've been caught up in this system for a long time. This is what you need to do to get free. You know, travel, see the international community, entertain Africa, you know, buy some land with the money that you get instead of clothes and shoes and cars and, you know, things that, I mean, sometimes, when I think about the money, <laughs> when I think about the money that I have spent on nothing, it's unbelievable, you know, and um, these are my thoughts today. So I'm heading to the gym, guys. You know, uh, you're probably getting a bit familiar with my hood, so please don't roll up on me. But it's a calm, quiet afternoon, you know. This is basically what it's like in Ghana. People just be minding their own business. You know, me included. It's so relaxed. Everybody's just strolling. Me too, just strolling. When I think about the unrealistic expectations, I realize that, like, the things I wanted to do in life were just, like, not attainable. Um, I don't really know people that are living in the U.S. the way that I've always wanted to live. I would say at this point in my life, I'm closer than anything. But I mean, it's taken a lot of soul searching, traveling, a lot of personal expense and whatnot to get here. Um, you know, we just, we are just stuffed with misinformation, you know, and a lot of our peers just keep doing the same things, even though it's not working. Even though a lot of people aren't satisfied, even though a lot of people aren't free, 
Uh, they regurgitate what other people regurgitate in terms of what they want. They don't even really know what they want. You know, they think that they want whatever they're doing or whatever has been promoted to them. A lot of people think they want the American dream. A lot of people think they want the corporate career. A lot of people think they need diversity and they have never really determined if they do or if they don't, you know? So, yeah. And I guess what's most frustrating, you know, is realizing in your adulthood that you just didn't have enough information to make an educated choice. You know, you were making an ed you were making a choice based on the information that was provided, which was not comprehensive and which was not accurate, you know? And um, it's very frustrating, but you, you can't look into the past. You can only look into the future. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to gym today, work on my mind, work on my body, and you know, we keep moving forward. Make sure you guys cop the EP, hello. I'll make sure the link is on this video. Until we meet again, stay blessed.